What's up everybody, this is Carolina Mike, your host for SharePoint in 60 Seconds, where you get the information you need right up front, and if you want more, stick around for a step-by-step -step walkthrough. Today we're going to show you just how easy it is to see every single event in a calendar, even if it doesn't show up right away. Stick around. I'm a SharePoint expert, play with data extra, careful with my hands cause I gotta use them for work. Yeah, I'm a big old nerd, I like maple syrup. All my pancakes, I don't care what you heard. Okay, so let's get the timer rolling. All right, before we get started, please like, share, subscribe. We appreciate you. Without you, there is no channel. Let's get to it. Okay, now let's get the timer rolling. All right, so you got this calendar here, and you, and you got 18 items. You're like, yep, I want to see those bad boys, but you open it up, and oh my gosh, it opened up to the current month. No worries, just go to the calendar tab, and then go to the drop down and change it from the calendar view to all events and then ba 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 bam you did that thing okay so now let's slow it down a little bit and talk about what the heck just happened okay the basic default for a event for an event list is the calendar view and it defaults to today so if you haven't had any recent meetings events on that calendar it's going to show blank so if you want to see them all all you got to do is switch well here, I'll show you how to go back to today. We'll just go right back here, calendar, and we're at today. And if you want to see all of the list items, events, meetings, whatever you want to call them, all the thingies that are living in this container, hit the drop down, and then you're going to go all events. Now, you might be thinking, well, what if I don't see an all events view? Well, first, if you don't see an all events view, shame on you. Shame on the person who created this. Shame. Just shame. Do not mess with all events. Do not mess with all documents. Do not mess with them. That is the only way anyone is going to be able to quickly get to a line item list of all the thingies that live in that thing you know what I mean so if you're dealing with a list it shows every single list item if you're dealing with a document library it shows every single file every single line item so let's say someone has messed around with your views so now you get to be the one that goes in here and fixes things and so you're basically going to go in and you're going to say you might as well just you know create a new view because I mean Anyway, create a new view, and then you're going to create a standard view if you want a standard like line item by line item or a calendar view. Um, in this particular case, we're going to go standard view, and we're going to say standard view. We're not going to create from an existing because you wouldn't be here if one of the existing ones worked. And you're going to call it like for real all items. I don't care what you call it, but just make sure that people know that it's everything. And you're going to scrolly scroll scroll and you're going to get rid of all the filters that's what makes a view not all is when you filter it so chances are it's being filtered in some way if you're not seeing everything show all items in this view we're not going to get into any other nitty-gritty you hit okay and then ba bam there you go so we're going to leave it there hopefully this helps somebody that's struggling with views remember do the very best you can with what you got SharePoint rocks, and so do you. We'll see you next time. I'm a SharePoint expert. Play with data extra. Careful with my hands, cause I gotta use them for work. Yeah, I'm a big old nerd. I like maple syrup. All my pancakes.